Hey guys, it's Google again with another video and this time I've got the DOT ROM that stands for Droid on Time for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, DOT or Droid on Time, as the uh, forum post would mention, is uh, it's it's honestly I checked it out and it's a very popular ROM among a lot of users. But for well, honestly, this is the first time I've been yeah, I'm even hearing of this ROM. So this was quite of a uh, fresh experience for me. Let's get started. First of all, the ROM comes with this launcher, which is Launcher amazing uh, i really like launcher because it emulates uh the nogat or oreo launcher very well and it does have a lot of features to boot it up so that's pretty cool let's go to the about phone page about phone page you can see dot os the version is 1.1 if you're curious about that december 2nd build date so that is the version uh november 6 security patches so uh december security patches are not out of as of yet so we'll have to settle for that it is a lineage based rom uh, and it does have all the lineage features and the problems which is about with lineage so keep that in mind uh, kernel is also lineage so you can swap it out to a better or different kernel as and when you need it let's go to the other settings now first of all first thing foremost it's a very stylized rom let's get that uh, it is a very themed rom but it does still have OMS support, it still lets you change the theme out. It's usually a very good theme. I'm going to get more into the theming features in the aesthetics department. Let's get to the features now. First of all, in the features section, almost all the features are inside DOT Extra, that is dot extra. And this is an a, a app style setting menu which uh, has a, a side panel and you have all the apps for the extra settings here. So let's get to the settings now. First of all, in the extra stuff, you do have all of this. You can customize system icons and all that. Uh, you can enable all of this navigation bar it can be customized if you are someone who uses that in the other option power notification control can be enabled status bar icons can be customized it does have VLT icon and it is working with no get firmware so don't worry about that in the other stuff it does have clock position satellizer so you have clock position and AMPM indicator like in lineage OS ROM so you do get that now in the quick setting panel you do have customization for uh, quick setting tiles you can customize that setting shortcut is in a, the icon can be customized or enabled or disabled as and when you want it to so that's pretty cool also adjust the number of rows and columns so you have options for that no no adjustment for quick setting tile that's a small one but it is still available a few of them now in the button section you do have volume cursor control which is great uh, i really like that but it is a line staple feature nothing special about it in the display option you do have accidental touch pocket distraction and wake on plug should work out really well in the lock screen options you do have fingerprint authenticator fingerprint unlock which is great Great. I just love this feature, it's really amazing. Power menu tweaks are available. Double tap on the screen anywhere when the lock screen is on. Lock screen shortcut can be customized, that's pretty cool. Display visualizer, blur on lock screen, all of that can be enabled from here, which is pretty nice. Now, in the recent menu option, you have clear all button, you can enable that. Show memory bar is available, and also lock task can also be enabled. So, you can see there should be a lock task here, so that can also be enabled, which does work out really well. Now, the miscellaneous option, you can enable advanced reboot, does work out really well. Also, disable force close issues if you're having some issues with that i personally did not have many issues but it is lineage so there are a few things uh, here and there screenshot crop and share i mean i i don't understand why more roms don't have this um i really like that option quite a lot because why why do people take screenshots to send it to someone so having this option to just have it shared crop and share a screenshot as soon as you take it is an amazing feature to have i love it on resurrection remix rom i'm waiting for some audio rom to have it to switch to that so that's something there three finger gesture can also be enabled for screenshots so that's also pretty cool navigation bar can be customized if you are someone who uses navigation bar uh, you can enable from here but also the hardware button can also be customized i have it to my favorite one which is double tap to sleep now this is the line style settings for all the options so that you do have recent and the home button customization no back button customization but that is to be expected volume buttons you do have all controls of playback volume controls or uh, media controls anywhere you want 
keyboard cursor is also repeated here so you can customize that and that is it in the extra stuff now apart from this there are the decent lineage options available you do have live display you can customize that it also has dcp3 uh, option if you are someone who uses that i personally like dynamic that's just how i roll so that's something there apart from that ambient display is available which is the line style ambient display also font size and display size can be customized display burning protection is available which is great and also quick setting panel can be customized to dark white or automatic the quick setting panel as of right now is dark you can see that it's a little bit different it's uh it's a more flashy option available you can also change it to white which will change i will of course requires root access uh but it will change to this white option this is kind of reminiscent of um one plus's design or one plus's options available and this does really feel like the one plus uh styled um quick setting panel which is really great and also i don't know if you know this or if you notice this this thing is pure amazing i really like this one not really sure if you can do that on any other linus rom or not but it's 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 amazing i really like that apart from that you do have color theme options so you can customize that this is the stock one the gray and uh, this is called dot o which is amazing uh, there's also dot pixel i'm not really sure what the difference is but hey these are stuff which you can customize now other options are similar to anything else which you might have seen nothing special going on here there is gesture options you can customize that you do have the line style gesture options so you do have more options with that and you can customize all of that that does work out really well also additional buttons options you do you do have awesome slider which is amazing should work out really well as you can see right now it is in flashing mode uh, i can just change it to full-on mode and uh, off mode so yeah awesome slider is amazing i want awesome slider in all my roms it's just great to have this works out really well also in notification options these are the stuff that you have uh, other options also you will have other stuff you can do works out really well this is amazing in the security option you do have scramble layout i couldn't find a uh, quick unlock uh, pin pattern which is strange yeah, because it does have uh, scramble layout and also uh, fingerprint unlock from reboot so not really sure why that option is missing from here so yeah i guess that should be it in the features option as i've already said this is a quite this is quite a loaded rom it does have a lot of features which is really great and it it works out really well i really like it but again it's not as feature rich as something like aex rom or something like that i'm gonna give it 7 out of 10 though it's pretty cool now comes the battery life the battery life has been pretty surprising for me let's say because i mean i did not expect this rom to have a great battery life because no one was talking about it as you can see the active um well what this is the way clocks uh, this is over a 10 hour period and the wake clocks are in the grand scheme of things really scarce the idle battery life was about one percentage right around one percent to 1.2 percentage which is great i didn't expect that i i didn't know of this rom as a really battery life giving rom even in their google plus page it says that it is meant for performance and stability not battery life but this is a really really great battery life giving rom the active drain which i got was about 12 to 14 percentage which is again a really great bit battery life uh and thinking this is a lineage based rom with a lot of features that's rare that's really rare i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for bad for life now the performance of the rom the performance is going to be a little bit different uh i got an average score of, of about 144,286. this was the last score which i got which is about 143,000, and that has been my experience with this rom also i've been having pretty good bad for life uh, pretty good performance with all of the uh, features which i threw at it games work perfectly well no issues with that i have been benchmarking a few things i have been running multiple benchmarks with this this one and my new phone which is out there if you don't know what it is well you probably haven't watched the video go check that out so yeah i've been running a few benchmark runs and uh 144 145 has been the benchmark which i've been having uh, with this form so works out really well i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for performance now the stability now stability is where i think this one wavers a little bit not a whole lot though because it is as stable as you would expect a lineage based rom but Thinking of all its accomplishment in other areas like battery life, performance and features, uh, one would expect it to have a better stability sense, I guess. I have had a few uh, force close issues, I mean a few as in one or two force close issues. One was when I was using photos, uh, that is a, 
normally available in any custom ROM so don't blame it but I also had force close issue when I was trying to get power amp to run with my Bluetooth not really there it wasn't working really well also equalizer force closed uh, when I was trying to get my Bluetooth headset uh, to work with it I don't know I don't find this problem in many other ROMs so that's gotta be a little bit of talking so I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for stability now the camera the camera has been pretty good it comes with a lineage camera now there are two versions of this ROM available one is with lineage camera which is standard which is normal and the other one is with gcam so if you are someone who uses gcam like I do it's probably better to go for the gcam version but do also think that gcam is updated quite often and uh, whenever you are getting an update you have to install that some ROMs may have problems installing a ROM over the uh, existing GCAP model you have to uninstall that with the root browser and all that so I actually went with a non GCAM version of this ROM which was smaller honestly it was about 470 megs uh, opposed to about 500 megs with the other ROM a straight com uh, comparison you don't need to go with that you can just install GCAM but for scoring I do really like a ROM which includes GCAM as a standard camera I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 because it does work out and also lineage is working I did have any issues with that no freaky issue where the recording does not work or the audio does not work no issues like that it's been really cool now the aesthetics as I've already said this is a very beautiful ROM it has a lot of things going on uh, animations are different there are a bunch of different animations going on everything is themed as you can see everything is different everything is themed I really like this you can even see this icon here it all works out really well it just works I'm really impressed with the theming feature of this and it also has OMS support it does have color support you can customize that you can turn it black you have a lot of options with that I haven't seen a ROM with this much options in aesthetics in quite a while now last time I guess it was in PA but uh, still this one is better I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for aesthetics though now the overall experience the overall experience has been pretty great uh, I've been really liking it uh, it's been working out really well for me I have been using this for about two uh, two two and a half days mostly because it has been extended I normally use it for one and a half to two days I had to use this for quite some time more it has been a great daily driver for me the battle life has been surprising and surprisingly good I really like that also yeah I really do like that I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for overall experience because it has been really nice to use this I really like it so yeah let me show you guys the boot animation which uh, is familiar but well there's also shut down splash screen I guess works out really well so here is the boot animation for the DOTOS. Uh, I've seen this boot animation somewhere. I cannot put my hand on it. I've made 500 videos. One of the other ROM which I've already done has this boot animation. I don't really remember, but hey, that's how it is. So guys, I guess that should be it about the ROM then. I really like this ROM. It's been a really it's been a pleasure using this ROM. Uh, I just like it. It does work out really well. It just happens in an instant everything you wanted to happen so the final score is going to be 7.186221 and that's going to be rounded out to 7.2 which is in my opinion one of the higher echelon ROMs which I've given any score to so works out really well it's an amazing package go to check this out uh, this was a sleeper ROM in my opinion because I've never heard of this for this particular device or even any other device but it's been around for quite some time so I, I, I think it's it has a lot of rich stock to take from so works out really well so yeah I guess I'm excited about the ROMs and hope you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye